welcome today's topic 6th standard biology four joints chapter name body movement we studied deeply studied four joints the first one ball and the second joint second one pivotal joint third one hinge joint fourth one fixed joint okay all are check your science book page number 68 check a page number 68 okay what is joint in previous class you study um the joints are the place where two or more bones meet okay yeah our body has many different types of joints the first one movable joints and the second one immovable joints first you studied the movable joints what is movable joints it allow movements between it allows movement between bones have cartilage between them okay the joints function the primary function of joint are the connect the bones it connect the bones within our body apart from this it also help us to move rotate and also be a weight okay the first joint a ball and the second joint okay in this joint the rounded end of a one bone fits into the cavity or a hollow space of another bone the two bones one bone is a rounded end of the bone it fits into the cavity or a hollow space of another bone it rotates or allows the movement in all directions okay for example joined in the shoulder you see the picture slide okay the second one example joined in the hip okay the two examples ball and socket join first one joined in the shoulder the second one joined in the hip it rotates all directions okay it rotates all direction you see the picture it rotates all direction the first upper part is a cavity a uh, hollow space then the lower is a round end parts okay then next one pivotal joint it consists of a cylindrical bone that rotates in a ring like okay it allows movement in forward backward left and right direction for example the joint between our head and neck is a pivotal joint you see the picture our for example the joint between our head and the neck is a pivotal joint it consists of a cylindrical bone that rotates in a ring like okay you see the red din color it allows the movement in forward backward left and the right side right direction it moves the four directions okay forward backward left and the right this is called pivotal joint okay third one hinge joint it allows movement in only one direction only or back or forth it move one direction or back or forth movement back and forth movement for example our elbow consist of a hinge joint okay our elbow next 
fixed joint okay next one fixed joint are immovable joints the joints in which the bones cannot to move are called fixed joint are immovable joint this type of joint a fixed one not movable okay you see the picture of a skull the human skeleton skull part in the skull part is a not movable so it is undergo immovable joints and also uh, for example uh, bones in skull joint between upper jaw and rest of skull okay these are the joints ball and socket joint pivotal joint hinge joint and fixed joint okay for a small two activities first one ball and socket joint okay the first one is ball and socket joints take a, you see the activity 2 in your book you see the activity 2 it's a model it's a model and it demonstrate the function of the ball and socket joint you see the picture uh, you take a type of paper okay and a plastic ball and a bowl in which the balls fit snugly okay first you roll the type of paper into a cylinder and make a small hole in the plastic ball push the paper cylinder into the hole in such a way that it fits properly finally put the plastic ball into a bowl you see if the ball is moving freely and if the paper cylinder is rotating so what do you observe the ball is moving freely and the paper cylinder is also rotating listen in a ball and socket joint the round end of one bone fits into the hollow space of another bone so the ball and socket joint allows movement in all direction or a bowl kulla or ball eppadi rotate aagudho adhe maadhiri rotate aagradha ball and socket joint they are simple activity okay then you goes to your activity 3 that model is the hinge joint demonstrate and its function okay you take a cardboard or a thick chart paper and a small pencil okay first you roll the cardboard and a thick chart paper into a cylinder you see the picture attach a small pencil at the center of the cylinder by pushing through it make a half cylinder such that rolled up cylinder fits into it now try to move the rolled up cylinder it move back and forth movement okay it move back and forth so this movement the same type movement in a hinge joint in hinge joint allows only back and forth movement okay the ball and socket joint movement rotates all direction okay the pivotal is a four direction front and back left and right okay then hinge joint move only back and forth okay fixed joint immovable joint okay ma all uh, read the page number all uh, read the page number 68 and 69 okay next class we will study about the human skeleton and the various parts okay thank you